where would I start if you're feeling off? Um, and as a doctor who specializes in hormones and longevity, you would think that I would say hormones, but that is not what this video is about. A lot of the time we see patients where their hormones are super well balanced. They've been seeing us for a long time. Their hormones look excellent. And yet they're going through a period of their life where they do not feel very good. Um, and so in this video, I'm going to talk about actionable tips that we've given our patients that helps them get back into a rhythm of feeling better again. Really a lot of this has to do with consistency. Humans are kind of designed to be on a rhythm. And as somebody who honestly doesn't do super duper well with a day-to-day -day consistent schedule, um, I really had to come to terms with this. Um, but as I have, it's made a huge impact in my life. So the first area of consistency that I would look at would be sleep. Um, this is going to bed within one hour every night, if not most nights, waking up within one hour every day, if not most days. Um, that consistent sleep schedule is going to make a world of difference in your circadian rhythm. Um, and the earlier that we move that bedtime, so being a night owl is not helping you, um, because the earlier we move that bedtime, the more deep sleep we're gonna get. We do better with getting more amounts of deep sleep earlier in the night, and deep sleep is where we make our hormones. So it all comes full circle, right? Um, this is gonna help our hormone production. This is gonna help our mood and energy throughout the day. Um, and this is really gonna just set us up for success. The next kind of element that I would put into the routine is sunlight. Um, so morning sunlight is really, really important for cortisol production. Um, and cortisol is one of those things that if it is off, it'll wreak havoc on the rest of your hormones every single time. And so my routine for this looks like I get up, I go, I put my coffee on, while it drips, I go outside for a few minutes. It really only takes a few minutes of sun on your skin and in your eyes to start to wake up that cortisol production. This is best done before coffee um, and best done as early as possible on kind of a routine schedule. The third thing that I would put in is some light zone two cardio movement. Um, and I say light movement for a reason, because oftentimes when we're feeling not our best, people will tend to lean into some of the heavier exercises again to try and just get themselves moving. And sometimes that's not what the body needs. Sometimes the body needs a period of rest and restore. But rest and restore doesn't mean don't move. It doesn't mean be a couch potato. Like that's going to make things way, way worse. And so oftentimes what we need to do is we need to focus on just getting in steps throughout the day, getting in a walk. Um, and we can pair this with some of our light routine to give us the best results, right? So an early morning walk in the sunlight will be great. Um, or an evening walk as the sun goes down would also be a really great choice if you're not feeling very good. Um, sometimes actually taking your foot off the gas of some of the more aggressive things can help us to, again, restore our cortisol levels, restore our stress response, um, and give our body a little bit of love in the way that it needs it. The fourth thing that I would recommend is a focus routine. Um, this was a game changer for me. Um, one of the things that was suggested to me by a mentor of mine is that um, there are three times throughout the day where you'll be the most focused. Um, it's the first 30 minutes after you wake up is your most focused time. Then it's three hours after that. And then it's your 11th hour. So if you wake up at 5 a.m., then your 11th hour will be 4 p.m. and you usually get another hour stint. Um, and timing what you're gonna do in those times to get your most productive work out of the way is really, really important. This is important for a couple different things, but it's also important for our dopamine, right? Dopamine likes when we accomplish things. And so setting a focus routine along with your sleep routine and your light routine, you're gonna feel like a brand new person. And these are the small habits that add up to big changes in life um, when you're not feeling your best. See you next time for next time's video.